Hey everyone and welcome back to another day of spring work. Uh, it's actually been a week since my last recordings. Uh, we got rained out, so we haven't seeded any Swedes at all. So we spent some days trenching and cleaning up some main trench and road ditches and everything. So we had uh, had stuff to do, but uh, we haven't seeded, we haven't uh, fertilized other than uh, one and a half field back at the Swede farm. So we're still still pushing to get this Swede done. We will hopefully get this done by this week. So I'm on my way now to the Swede farm with the fertilizer spinner back, hooked on my friend 313. Uh, ready to load up some fertilizer. Cosmin is uh, over there in the Valtra. He's hooked up to our 400 liter uh, hardy sprayer. Uh, we have two sprayers, one with 600 liters and one with 400. But uh, the second difference is that the 600 has a 10 meter boom and the 400 liter has a 12 meter boom. So when I'm spreading at 12 meters, he can uh, take the 400, 400 liter sprayer and follow my tracks so we save some time I don't have to do both because the Valtra doesn't have the RTK or any GPS at all so we'll save some time by doing this we have done this before but uh, we normally use our 400 liters to spray the, uh, the weeds and we use our 600 liters to spray our liquid fertilizer this time we will just flush out and clean up uh, the 400 liters uh, um, liter sprayer and uh, use that one. So, okay, so I will jump quickly over to the sweet farm and Cosmin will load me up with some fertilizer. And of course we forgot to bring a knife, so we only put one bag. That was the last thing I said before we left. I will bring a knife, no worries. Then I left and uh, I forgot to bring a knife. So that's shit happens. I guess I'm not the first one. So last time out I got this triangular field done and now I have the weather station field. I'm over halfway on that. So I will uh, find my last track. And uh, fulfill that one.
was only 15 meters. So I can see it's a little bit wet, but it's, I don't think we will cause any problem We're going out uh, doing this today. see that my fertilizer from last time out is rained off or it's not rained off but it's uh, mixed with the soil I don't see any um, pellets anymore so when I'm finished with this field I got um, one two fields ahead of me and one small piece behind me and uh, that will be the sweet farm so the plan after this is to go out and check. We have two fields back at the main farm, uh, approximately two hectares, which I'm pretty sure is too wet to do anything about now, but uh, I'll go over there and check out how, how it is. And uh, maybe I will plan to, uh, to prepare the, um, the plow, sorry, the plow. Uh, I'm pretty sure we, we can't plow today or um, within the next couple of days. Tomorrow is the national day, so we won't work any tomorrow. But I'm anyways planning to have this video over several days because it's, it's one coat with fertilizer and one with, with liquid fertilizer and uh, then I'm ready to go over to the next job. So my dad will come over here tonight and start uh, seeding one of these fields and we'll hopefully get it done by Tuesday, no, Thursday, I mean. Oops, let me remember to open up. And that's the second field done. The weather station field is done, so I will jump over to what we call the, the small field. We don't have names on all our fields. We have uh, numbers usually, but the, this farm is a little bit special, or not special, but a little bit different. But it also has the farm name and the numbers, but uh, the fields have names. I don't know why, but they have, so. Back at the main farm, it just has the farm name and the number, and all the other farms, my farm will have the same, and we have the, um, uh, last year's sweet farm is called the Rumsta. It uh, also has numbers. So this patch is only um, 0 0.4 hectares. It's the smallest field we got, but it's still a field, so we'll fertilize it the same way as we do on the other ones. And as always, we put down this plate. It's called an edge. Uh, fuck. Edge sprayer plate or something. It's only they only open up one side when you're using this. It's to keep the fertilizer on the field and not spread out every, everywhere. I need to find myself a stone. Whenever I feel I do this, spread the edges first, and then I need to go out and open up this plate, and then I work on the middle stuff. All right, guys, you know the drill. I will finish up this farm, and uh, we'll jump over to the next day. And I'm back. It's actually a couple of days later now. Actually the day after the Norwegian National Day. Uh, we still haven't seeded anything because it was a little bit too sticky for the seeder. 
uh, on Monday. Now it's uh, Wednesday. But uh, he's out now and we will uh, grease up a little bit on the chains and uh, I'll probably help him get started with that and uh, then we'll, we'll start seeding the, the first sweets. And that's the first weeds in the soil for this season. So we'll probably spend about 40 hours maybe on uh, this farm. It's uh, 7.5, not 8.5, but 7.5 hectares in total. And then we have uh, yeah, two point something back at the main farm, which I will go and plow right now. I will hook up to the plow and do these two fields. This is the fields where we power harrowed and spent a lot of time uh, pulling some soil from the edges into the middle so the water would run off more easy. I know there is a spot I will show you uh, when we get there. That is a little bit wet but uh, I have a plan. Okay, so I'm on the fields now. There is one on either side of the road. I know uh, I will try to show you, even though my windows are a little bit dirty. Down in that corner is a wet spot, and it's going a little bit up, uh, approximately to the middle. The plan is to have the rows this way, not that way, like we had last year. So I will have to create myself a new uh, line, I think. And uh, I think I will start with the worst field, which is this one, and start along the road and end up down in that corner where it's wet. So I think it will be all right. My secret plan or my secret weapon is twin wheels on both sides of the tractor. This is something we do when we know it's a little bit challenging because uh, with one wheel on this soil top we will get stuck for sure. So um, I adjusted the plow a little bit. We will uh, we will hit the last row the plow makes, uh, but it's it's just like this. Uh, some, sometimes you have to do it like this, and uh, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, and this time we have no choice, so yeah, I will go ahead and create myself a new track and uh, plow up these two fields. done with both fields. It took me uh, about 
three hours to do and uh, that last piece down there from the corner I talk, talked about a little bit earlier I had to just leave that behind because it's too wet so maybe one fifth of the field is is, is gonna stay behind left behind but uh, what to do we can't do anything about it other than leave it and we will come with the excavator and make some trenches again but otherwise the rest is okay i think my brother has to do some more profiling down on that corner from the other field to put some more dirt into the middle because it's not good enough okay so um, the fields will have to stay a couple of days to dry, dry out we actually had some issues with the, the cedar now so probably have a few days of downtime but yeah nothing is easy in a farmer's life but uh, we'll, we'll hopefully fix it okay so i will jump quickly over to a couple of days later back this time I got hooked up to the cultivator it's actually another couple of days later since my last recording when I was plowing up there so now I'm ready to cultivate we spent yeah it's on the third day of fixing the, um, the cedar it was the hydraulic engine that was running the, um, the fan and the joint that uh, between the engine and the fan was all worn out, so we had to replace the whole engine and uh, rebuild the brackets. So a bunch of work, and we actually did it two times, but uh, the first engine was leaking, but we found an another one, but that meant we had to build a different bracket than the second one so we are on the third engine now we are hopefully ready again to start seeding my dad is grabbing some lunch and he will be out soon and in the meantime my plan is to at least cultivate today maybe i will have time to apply uh, the solid fertilizer we will see okay so we're on the fields now because me and i have spent some more time uh, uh, smoothing out a little bit more than we had a little bit on the start of this area you can see it's flat here and it's pulled the soil a little bit more into the middle same goes to the other field down there it isn't perfect yet but uh, it's uh, even better than than i said it was better last time so i will start cultivating this field uh, the boys will come soon to put uh, wood sticks down here, over here, and prepare uh, for a yellow fence to protect uh, the Swedes from bugs.
and finished with both the fields. So this one wasn't quite that much work because Kosmin spent a lot of time down in that corner to smooth out, pull in some soil. That field was a little bit worse, so I had to spend a little bit more time on that. But I'm pretty pleased with how it, how it looks. So hopefully it will be all right. This year we won't have the rose that way, but this way. So hopefully the water from the ends of the rose will go directly into the main trench. But I will call that job done and uh, go and hook up to the fertilizer spinner and load a couple of bags with fertilizer and apply that to the fields. Okay, here we are again, back with the, the same job as I started this video with. Fl fertilizer is the last two fields, so it's it feels good. It feels pretty good to be almost done now. I think I will leave the liquid fertilizer to my brother tonight. It's only one sprayer and should be quick, but uh, first of all, I gotta hit these two fields with uh, the fertilizer.
And done. So now is only the liquid fertilizer left. The boys are putting up sticks and also yellow fence. So we are almost done with spring work. My dad is out seeding too, so I guess within three days this is all seeded and we can finally breed again. So uh, it's been a long video, over a whole week actually. But I decided to do it this way because this is what I do these days. Now I'm done so I can uh, start thinking about the other stuff, trenching and uh, creating fields and draining of water. So I will call this a day now. Hopefully my brother will uh, do the liquid fertilizer. And uh, I will be back. We'll be back with something else for you in a few weeks. I will take a little break now because it's been a plenty of uh, videos recording and editing and work and kids and whatnot. So thanks for watching guys. Remember, remember to check out all of my other videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember to check out